our newscast, we had Savannah Mayor Edna Jackson live in our set. She shared a strong message, clearly hoping this situation doesn't get out of hand. That's right. Today, she and other community members pleaded for peace. They also stressed information will come out regarding the shooting. Until it does, some say they will continue to protest. And as we just showed you, one of those marches is about to get underway, weather permitting. WJCL, Nick Natario is there and joins us now live from Augusta Avenue. Nick? Well, rain just came through, and so people are just now starting to come out. We're expecting uh, dozens of people really to march up and down Augusta Avenue wanting justice for Mr. D. Let's give you a look right now down the street there. This is Augusta Avenue in downtown, the west side of Savannah. I count probably about 20, 25 people. Last night there were a lot more, but maybe the rain is kind of keeping them at bay. Now, as they march, the message from City Hall and other leaders is peace. They want this to be a peaceful protest and they're encouraging them to do so peacefully. Now community members and Charles Smith's family members spoke nearby where he was killed. They asked for support but also the investigation will be conducted fairly. The calming plea was also echoed in a nearby church afterwards. Religious and city officials talked about the situation. Now, this is the second day government leaders took a proactive stance with this whole thing. Yesterday, Mayor Edna Jackson left city council workshop to defuse what was going on. And we asked some from the crowd yesterday what they thought her presence meant. For her to leave a meeting when I viewed the news last night, she left a meeting to come. I think that meant something to the family. I know that she addressed the mother, she addressed the siblings, and to me that meant something to our community. Sometimes public officials, they don't, they are what you call politicians. Today we saw the human side of the mayor and we are very thankful for that. As the investigation continues, Mayor Jackson asked for community members to continue their peace, peaceful approach. She said she will continue to be open and relay information. Now, this peaceful protest is expected to begin any minute. Uh, we've also been told that there's going to be another gathering tomorrow sometime in the afternoon. And we're going to go down. We're going to have all the coverage for you about how the march went, if anything happened, and also if there's going to be more in the future. And we're going to keep on this for you. For now, reporting live in downtown Savannah, Nick Notario, WJCL News, working for you.